I'm so glad that nasty Vita got it. If you like that polka dot dress Joan Crawford wore in the film, it could be yours. It's going to be auctioned off in New York in less than a week on Monday, November 25th. And back with me to give more details about that dress in the auction is Catherine Williamson from Bonham's Auction House. We actually had uh, Anne Blythe, who played Vita, at our TCM Classic Film Festival last April, and she couldn't be sweeter. What a lovely, lovely lady. Good actress. Yeah, fabulous actress <laughs> indeed. How often do you do memorabilia auctions at Bonham's? We do them two or three times a year. Yeah. Yeah. And do you go after these items, or do most of them come to you? A little of both, a little of both. Sometimes something will come to us, we'll get a nice little collection, and then I'll think of people who have like pieces, and I might call them up and say, look, I've got a great collection of movie posters, but it's missing this one thing that I know you have. And so sometimes we will build the sale in that way as well. What's the most unusual item that's ever come across having to do with movies? Or one if, say, you would want to bid on if if oh, you I had know. the unlimited I know, I have to, bank account. I have to you probably do. If I had an unlimited bank account, I would buy the Falcon. I would buy the Maltese yeah, Falcon. that would be great. Because that is the greatest piece uh, of all. But I'm a huge... I'm a huge uh, fan of the scripts. Uh -huh. They never look that, you know, they're, they're not that flashy, but to see the backbone of the film itself and to see the way the writers break the story. And in several instances in this auction, we have a full development from, from synopsis through three or four drafts to the final draft. So to right. see the way the story is broken down and the character is developed is just really wonderful. Also gives you great respect for the filmmakers uh, going through those processes to finally make the best film they can make. To, to, and to see the idea moment. Yeah. We have an early draft of a Wizard of Oz script uh, and it's from, it's Noel Langley's drafts and it's the draft where he said, the slippers should not be silver, they should be ruby. Right? Yeah. To see that idea yeah. emerge because it's better in Technicolor right. is just, it's just so wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's move ahead. We have more on the docket. Up next, we're going to jump ahead three decades to a film from the 1970s, a film set in 2022, a movie starring Charlton Heston and Edward G. Robinson. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Katherine Williamson discusses Bonham's auction items next with Soylent Green. Then Gary Cooper reaches new heights in The Fountainhead, and Ronald Reagan encourages Richard Todd to change his mind in The Hasty Heart.